To many children, owning a pet is an exciting affair. One particular animal that never fails to catch the attention of children along the aisles of a pet shop is the red-eared slider terrapin. These terrapins are adorable to many and appear to be the ideal pets as they are cheap, costing as little as $3 per individual. In addition, they seem to require little effort to take care of and do not require large amounts of space. The perceived low costs and convenience of owning these terrapins creates a huge demand for them in the pet trade. And in fact, Singapore imported 300,000 individuals in 2001, with numbers increasing to 1.2 million by 2007. What many pet owners do not realise is that these terrapins can live up to 40 years old and grow to the size of dinner plates. When pet owners cannot provide for these terrapins any longer, they release them into local water bodies such as lakes, ponds and reservoirs. As a result, the most commonly traded turtle in the world for pet trade also becomes one of the world's worst invasive species. These turtles are so common to Singaporean waters now that up to 562 individuals have been found in only four water bodies. Originally from North America, these red-eared sliders are extremely adaptable and feed on almost everything. Being omnivorous, they feed on fish, insects, vegetation and even the occasional frog. This destroys local wildlife and reduces biodiversity at an alarming rate. Here we see them having a feast of guppies and minnows. The voracious appetite of these red-eared sliders mean that they will compete with local species of terrapins. These local species include the giant softshell turtle, Malayan box terrapin, spiny hill terrapin, and the river terrapin. Apart from food, red-eared sliders compete with local species for territory, egg-laying, and basking spots as well. Over time, the red-eared sliders will outcompete these species, forcing them to leave their habitats or to slowly die out. This further damages local ecosystems. So what can we do about this situation then? One possible alternative is to use microchips to tag terrapins in order to encourage responsible pet ownership. This allows officers to ensure that owners do not break the law by abandoning their pets in local parks. If you own a red yet slider, be sure not to release it into ponds or reservoirs. If you are thinking of owning a red-eared slider as a pet, think twice. Buying on impulse is not right. And besides, you could always go to a toy shop to buy a toy terrapin instead.